Well, what up guys? What up with the wheelhouse? I hope everybody is doing well. Markets are crazy, right? And look, I'm gonna tell you something. You probably are gonna be like, dude, this guy is crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about, but I do know what I'm talking about. And I'll show you my trades. I'll show them to you from last year and this year, and then this year independently, plus my simulated trades on my, um, uh, testing all the different systems. By the way, we do have our algorithm pretty much the way I wanted it. Uh, my partner in my Discord, uh, he's he's brilliant. He's done a phenomenal job. I have been testing it. Um, I've tested the main part, not the second part, and I like every single thing about it except one thing, which is huge because there was like 150 or 200 things originally. So he has come a long way and. Uh, uh, things are good now Unfortunately, just the only one thing that doesn't work is on the small time frame when you put labels and lines on it Compresses the chart other than that this thing is like sick and ready to go So we're looking at Bitcoin. I, I want to look at the indexes. We'll talk about the banks um, I'll give you some ideas of what could uh, You know be really really good now the landscape is changing very very fast right now us UBS USB? No, UBS. <laughs> UBS uh, is buying out Credit Suisse for $2 billion. Now, what's funny is UBS got bailed out uh, previously and then they got their act together and now they're buying out Credit Suisse. And it's a whole big deal because, you know, of Act 80, too big to fail. And, um, you know, the taxpayer is going to pay for it. But the bottom line is crypto is running on this news. There is also news in the US where mid-size, mid-cap uh, regional banks are asking the FDIC for two years of insurance, which got the markets very scared over the weekend. But anytime these bailouts, which they don't want to call it a bailout, they want to call it a, um, a commercial structuring uh, happens, it's going to uh, get markets excited. Okay, this market is extremely data dependent. And data is coming out every single day in every country. It is wild. So <clears throat> I first have Bitcoin on here. And you could see that the wick is exactly at the top of the premium zone. And if you watch my video on these three zones, this is the buy zone, the discount zone. The gray one is the equilibrium where it bounced off the 200. And it did break that support, hit some stops, got scary. But, you know, Bitcoin is very resilient. And uh, people will buy that dip on this particular instrument um we are at this zone however the next one is up here right about 32,019 up oh, sorry a little higher 32,413 okay um we are in the first stage so this is the area where we'll probably come up and do you know we'll, we'll have some wiggle and whatnot and i'm going to show you on the weeble chart so it's easier to see as well Bitcoin looking good. We're going to take a stronger look at crypto in this video. Okay, so let's look at the NASDAQ before we get the week started. Okay, so we have this big impulse broke the primary, uh, rejected on this previous pivot high, which started way over here back in September, uh, touched it, never got above it, made a lower high, another lower high, and so far another lower high. Now this might come up, but breaking this level of 12,288 on the NASDAQ is going to be important. Remember, when inflation goes when, it, when inflation goes down, Nasdaq will go up. And when Nasdaq is is breaking out of say this one right here, then you know that the whole market's going to be very happy because the, when the Nasdaq comes out of an inflationary environment and it's trending up with a confirmed uptrend, you're good to go. Okay, so that's why you have a lot of this sideways funky action is because of all the infl inflation data is it going up is it going down is he going to raise this is he going to raise that is he going to cut is he going to pause that's why the nasdaq's doing this however there's great opportunities in the nasdaq and um and then the spy is going to react to things more like the gdp growth are we going to grow in gdp it's the top us 500 companies right so again we have this channel it was perfectly i mean it was very very technical actually i guess it's compressing when i have it on here too uh other than this little issue so it's not lines oh it's everything it's lines labels and boxes okay 
Okay, we'll work on that. Okay, but um, this this was a perfect technical channel, and so it hits the bottom, hits the top of the channel, comes right down to a support, comes up to the channel, hits this bottom support, comes up, <clears throat> comes back down to the channel, comes back up to the top of the channel, comes back down to this support. I mean, it's absolutely technical, all the way to the primary downtrend, breaks the channel, but it hits this support, comes back in and tries, it breaks multiple levels, bounces back right to the primary, comes down to support, breaks out, down, tries again, and comes and tests the primary. Tests the, up again, it comes and tests it again, right down to the primary and out. Very conflicting market, very hard to navigate. But what I'm gonna tell you is, <clears throat> and you guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but when you know my results and how well I do in these crazy environments, and then it's very much easier in the in the better environments, it's because I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not completely, um, Hinged. I am normal. I have normal emotions, and I and I do worry, and I do look at you know banking crises and all this stuff is a real problem. Inflation, real problem. But what I try to do is is follow the charts more, and as we get into the different phases, you know, I'm looking at the individual companies and um, their fundamentals as well. So what I'm saying is I'm watching the technicals and I have a system to enter and a way to exit um, and that works really well for me getting in early being patient during and capturing the gains you got to make some decisions based off institutional support some fundamental stuff technical stuff industry sector industry group this kind of stuff um, <clears throat> and uh, where the money's going inflows things like that but you know and then and then you can target you can pick stocks it's a stock pickers market it's a range bound market but we might be breaking some ranges right now so very exciting so the spy didn't fall back down into the primary downtrend and that is good okay now the dow is different than the spy and the nasdaq the dow is a barometer for the economy so if the dow is going down then it's a leading indicator saying it thinks the economy is in trouble. If it's going up, it feels that the economy is doing well. Okay, and the small caps, <clears throat> small caps are just in a league of their own. They're kind of, they haven't made it to where they are a leading or lagging indicator. The only thing about the small caps is in, they are a leading indicator to a bear run. So for instance, when most people thought that the bear run started in November, it actually started in February of 2021. We didn't know it. I didn't even know it until everything broke out right here and kept going up on the other three indexes. But this one became range bound. Finally, when it broke out, it was very exciting, but then it failed in November. So in history, the small caps will will be a leading indicator for a bear run. OK, and again, I didn't realize it for months, uh, but in May, when everything jumped up mid May on the other indexes, uh, this one didn't. So. Now, small caps are very fun to trade. There's a lot of cool stuff in there, but it's also very sketchy when you're in phase one to be buying a lot of the small caps. It's got pros and cons, okay? It's good because you're getting stuff cheap and you can just look back and see where all time high was like SoFi or just, there's a lot of really good ones in there. But at the same time, a lot of the small caps don't have, you know, they're still at negative earnings per share. They don't have a lot of cash flow. They have debt. Um, the revenues aren't, you know, aren't growing by leaps and bounds. But they're, you know, out of the startup phase, and they're, you know, publicly traded, and they're, you know, there are some winners and leaders that can be found in there. So watching the indexes is one of the things I always do, and I include Bitcoin as an index. I believe in, uh, Bitcoin is the Dow of crypto. Okay, and the fact that, you know, <clears throat> we got down here with our bottom finder. FTX happened, we broke, came up a few levels, came up to this top area. I told you we'd probably test the 200, we did. I told you there'd be take profits here, we did. I didn't want to break this, we did, um, but we bounced back and now we're off and running and we're in this zone, this box of confluence, okay? So let's go take a look at uh, some of the stuff in Weeble and just kind of show you some of the things. So look, <clears throat> when banks, get bailed out or they get help you're gonna want the the leverage bulls for banks 
okay? And if banks get helped out, you'll also probably see real estate will go up because they're tied, they're correlated together. But you'll notice when I show you these charts that as banks fail, you'll see that some of the biggest ones will be gold, real estate, and financials in an inverse bear. So this one right here is gold miners going up. And you can see that's a major, you know, look, look, look how far down it was, okay? This was at 311. And finally, when the market gets scared, kind of like the Dow, people will buy gold. When they're thinking recession, bank failure, stuff like that, gold is good and triple leverage is even better. Okay, here's another one that's double leverage. It's the one that I usually play, it's called JNUG. It's gonna be the same kind of thing, it's just double leverage. Okay, this thing was up at $1,006. You know, it's had its bottoming process, came up here, so this is where your take profit should be, but maybe a little lower if you're playing it, or at least set an alert, like I'll set an alert right now and show you. And I'll set it a little bit a little bit below this peak, but when the price goes above, and I'll also put on sharp rise, sharp fall, once per minute is good, and we'll just save it, and then I'll make a little bell right here for me, okay? And that way, um, you know, when I'm in this thing, I'll get an alert every minute, so it'll make me come back to the chart. Now, when banks fall, you want something like this. <laughs> now, look at look at the momentum on this thing okay now this is covid went to 853 and it was pretty much overnight i mean you could have went from 248 up you know call it you know 350 400 percent something like that roughly uh without grabbing a calculator and you know when banks fall and there's massive fear in financial look at the momentum this one is called bknd okay it's only fifteen thousand thirty eight dollars if you would have bought the cross like i showed you at $7.82, you've already doubled your money. Your 7,820 is now 15,380. And you gotta keep an eye on your zones, like I said, so 1599 is coming up, and then you gotta take a look at these areas. But if banks are going down, you wanna, you know, these triple leverages are good. Now, derivatives and correlated tickers to crypto. <clears throat> so, micro strategy looking good gbtc looking good ethe -E, looking good from grayscale bitwise looking good coinbase one that i'm in and i'm in riot and doing extremely well with those so coinbase i got down uh well so i played it a few times okay so i rode this one got out here and then i rebought here and i'm still in and i have see i have my little alert here over at 79 even though i know that 81 is maybe 82 yeah 8150 we'll call it is going to be kind of a support area so i'm keeping an eye on that but what i do is i buy the cross and then i'm putting my stop on the nine when i'm a like profitable like i'll be profitable right away but but i gotta wait for it to go way up before i can put my stop on the nine and if things get really funky in the market I'll move it up to the five or I'll back it down to a different time frame and sit and do the same thing. I'll put it on the nine here at 74, 76. So it's very tight in case this thing decides to fall. Okay. Um, I'm always, this is how I'm always taking in profits. Okay. Now uh, back to banks, just like I showed you BNKD with this crazy momentum. The other one I've been talking to you guys about for about a year now is FAS and Look at Faz. If you bought the cross here at 1593, you're at 2537. It's crazy. Okay. Um, just to show you GBTC, look, it's above the 200. It's running. Hut mining still cheap. You can buy, you know, five, five, seven, ten thousand shares of this, whatever. And this thing is going to go well, and the balance sheet looks clean. Um, look at Shiny. Shiny's a new one, but I mean, it just got on the market, but it is a triple leverage gold and it is parabolic right now. Okay. Um, doesn't have a lot of charting to reference, but it's gold and you know, it's, it's kind of where a lot of people are going again, GDLC, another grayscale one. Um, this one has Cardano, Matic, Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, probably one other that I'm not thinking of, like Litecoin or something. And, you know, it kind of looks sideways, but it's starting to move up and it has the cross on the daily. I don't own that one. 
Um, TZA, this is a, a leveraged bear. So as the Russell, you remember the Russell was going down, this one will go up, okay? So I like to use the triple leverages to make money really fast, but I also like to have really good companies that I just hold. So I do own FedEx. Okay, look at the momentum on FedEx, had a great earnings. I also have Adobe, that one hit a great earnings. DRV is one that I've been mentioning a lot. Uh, if you bought it the first time with me, you made over 100%. If you held from then till now, you're up over 200% or close to 200%, sorry, because it was about 20 bucks. And But I didn't do that. I actually bought it and I think I got scared somewhere and sold it and then I rebought it and I've just been holding it. So, uh, you know, this is, looking like a breakout possibly shoulder head shoulder situation and this breakout will be big i need an alert so i'm going to put an alert just right there just so i have that for myself just kind of get you guys in the habit of how to how to just do this when you have a lot of positions open so that you're constantly knowing what's going on Oh, Bitcoin is looking beautiful today. Um, this is another one. Um, got a thousand shares of this. This is SKYH. Made an alert about it um, over a little higher than this cross. I didn't pay $5.94. I paid a little higher. It was like seven something. But probably on this dip on this bounce somewhere close to there and it's still going. So again, my stop would be on where this blue blue one is. And I just, I'm just letting it ride, just letting it do what it's doing. It's gonna go up and down in the five minutes, gonna go up and down sometimes and oscillate on the hourly. Um, hopefully not the four hour though. That one, if you get to the four hour, you gotta start getting a little cautious. But you know, I'm basically staying in the cloud and I'm compounding, okay? Now, let's take a look and I'm gonna show you how I do things really quickly especially on crypto because it's the weekend. So right now in this watch list, um, Curved Out is at the top of crypto. So what I like to do is go to the five minute and if it's, if it's bearish on the five minute, this is how I prop trade, okay? So I have a lot of systems that work really well for my regular accounts, but they don't work as well for prop trading. But what does work well for prop trading is doing this cloud trading technique on the five minute. It's actually exceptional. Um, it took me a minute to figure it out, but it's, it, it is the way. <laughs> um, and stick to all the same stuff, the right sector. I like doing like Tesla, Nvidia, Bitcoin, um, things like that. I've even done things like um, Home Depot, Netflix and, and whatnot as well, because they move in like five, $10 increments per day, which is you know what you want. And I'll show you Home Depot and Netflix as an example to how they're about to be bullish and how I knew FedEx was gonna be bullish and I knew Adobe. I'll show you. So what I do <clears throat> on crypto is uh, if I'm trading it, okay, I am right now, I'm either short or not in and waiting for this to do whatever it's gonna do and then turn around and this price action is gonna shoelace through both EMAs, which is the five, the green one, and the nine, the blue one. And then when they cross with the little black gap, I would buy. But I'm not personally trading this one. In fact, I don't even own this one. But the next thing I do is I look at the hourly. Is there a cross? Is it above? Well, it is. And it's retesting, which is a good area if you wanted to buy it. But what you want to do is if you've established you want to curve down, then you know that it's touching that on the 100. So now you're looking for the five to wait for it to do what it's gonna do so you can just get the best price. But you wanna verify on the daily that you're in an overall uptrend. So you're checking the five minute, the one hour, and the daily. Now on the daily, you're in an overall uptrend and you are in the cloud and you have a range here to $1 and basically 27 cents, which is good, okay? It's a 22 cent gain, so you know, you could just do the math of what you put in. You put in, you know, 10 grand, you get basically 10,000 tokens, a little bit less. And the difference between 127, 105 is 22. So, you know, it's a $2,200 gain roughly, okay, from here to here. Okay, and then when the price action goes above and, or the, and the blue one is above the price action, I just start walking the stop every day, whatever this number is. And I come over here and I go, uh, sell limit and I put the price in or I'll put in 100% on, on all the crypto or whatever it is you're trying to do and then the price and then I'll, I'll go ahead and submit it and then it'll pop up on the chart you know where this blue line is and say limit but I don't like to do it until the price action is above 
Like, I, so I'll be, I won't lose any money. I will just monitor the trade and do trade management until that happens. And typically that's working very, very well for me. So let's go back and do it again. Let's move to the five minute. Let's look at the next one, Phantom. Phantom's also coming down on the five minute, no big deal. Uh, it is starting to come down to the five on the one hour. And on the daily, you're in a super uptrend. So these pullbacks right here, are what you're kind of looking for. And then you wanna pay attention to your ranges, know that you're above the 200, you're in the cloud, you're in a big uptrend, where your breakout spots are, where your range is, and then start to target it. Okay, it's up on the daily, it's coming down to retest on the hourly, and on the five minute, we're gonna wait for this because we want Phantom, but we want it at a better price. So we're gonna let it do its thing and kind of fall. Meanwhile, on this screen, I'll be watching if I want Phantom, I'll have Phantom on trading view on the one minute, and I'll be watching the Jedi green lights while I watch the five minute on Weeble, okay? Filecoin, this is one that I do have. So. Uh, Filecoin has been in an uptrend, you can see, but it is it is starting to come down on the five minute. No big deal. These things oscillate. Go watch my video, Behavioral Oscillations and Market Cycle Chaos Theory Phenomena. And um, we teach a little bit about behavioral finance and behavioral economics and behavioral oscillations and just how that works. So uh, Filecoin, I think I did a spreadsheet where everywhere I bought, if I waited till all time high, how much I would make. and if I recall, Filecoin was one where it was like a substantial amount of money. It was like 300K or something like that. It was pretty good. Um, but also, if I recall, Filecoin had some major spike to the top and then major drop. So I don't know if I have enough reference or data that that previous all-time high was established because it looked like a massive pump and a drop. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm looking at so many charts every day. I might have that one wrong. I might be thinking of sushi or something else. I don't know. So again, we're going to look at the five minute. If you wanted it, you're going to wait for that cross. You're going to wait for this to come down. If you want to go long and see how it's turning, you're just going to wait for it to do whatever it does. That noise you heard is a uh, notification for Bitcoin. Uh, my vortex, which is, I think down here is crossing on the hourly. So, okay. So if you want phantom, you're waiting for the cross. Uh, you're looking at the hourly, which looks good. Okay. And you're looking at the daily, which has been shifty, but it's still going in the right direction. It's threading that shoelace. So you're going to have to get through this at 640, get through this at 680, get through this at 728 and back to 853. The reason I bought so much file queen on this dip was because I was like, okay, well, if I can get it at 525 and it goes back to 850, let's just say for simple math, 550 to 850, that's $3. So every thousand tokens is three grand. So I bought 2000 of them. I bought, I bought 1000 and then another 1000 pretty quickly. And so I'm looking at this one trade as a $6,000 trade, okay? Now, I have, notice how I have my little alarms. Now, once it gets up to this zone, I'm gonna see if it breaks out. If it breaks out, I'm gonna hold it. If it breaks down, I'm gonna sell it and take my profit and find something else that's crossing. It might be a stock, it might be a crypto. I'm always trying to make money. That's, that's my job, that's what I'm doing. In fact, part of the reason I haven't been on YouTube is because I am working on a very, very, very exciting business. Um, it's new and, uh, it, you know, it has massive potential. It is in the four best industry groups and future technologies, in my opinion, in the world. It involves crypto, blockchain, trading, and AI. And so I'm really focused on that and I'm going to be uh getting my licensing and uh starting a hedge fund and uh being i'll be the cio over there and also making sure that the guys are getting what they need financially and they're having structured growth the developer team and uh being able to do what they need to do best over there and we'll tell you more about that as it comes it's a little too early to tell you but we are working on something pretty cool for that and uh you know Everybody on that team is good at what they do. I don't know as much about, you know, GPU architecture or machine learning or AI or, you know, 
some of these some of these things that some of these guys are doing on the background but i do know markets and i do know how to play whale games and i do know how to manage a portfolio and i do know how to trade and i am very confident in that and so i'm going to stay in my lane and let them do what they do uh, because they're good at what they do over there and i'm good at what i do over here so YouTube, I'm here to help you because you know I have some solid people that have stuck with me the whole way, and some of some of those people, one in particular, I'm, I'd like to offer a job to come with us and be on the developer team. And there's another one or two people that have shown um, some real strength in trading, and I'm considering them to work on my trade desk at the hedge fund. So, a little early to talk about all of it, but things are in the works. So. This is one I don't own, but I have been tempted. I'm not going to lie. I just, when it was at 55 cents last night, I mean, it's just making all time highs. Now, the thing is, is one of my mentors, William O'Neill, you know, he talks about the opposite of what a lot of YouTubers were talking about for the last few years. You don't buy the dip. You don't buy the low. You want stuff to be making all time new highs every week. And so that's how I do it. Now, if you go to Buffett, you buy value. So right now, value is like healthcare and it's just starting to move up. Energy was hot. Now energy is slowing down. It's moving to value healthcare. So you wanna have those rotations at the bottom like healthcare now to run all the way up. Go look at a chart on Pfizer. Go look at a chart on all therapeutics companies. Go look at a chart on Johnson Johnson. They're turning right now. So look, I don't own this one, but this band core network token is raging, okay? Tezos, another one I've been thinking about because I just see opportunity. I just see money everywhere. I just see that I can make money. I go, okay, it's $1.25. I put 10, 20 grand in this sucker. Uh, I can get up to $1.43. I minus $1.43 and $1.25 on the range. I see how many pennies that is, how many tokens I have and what it's gonna look like. And then I babysit, manage the trade. The hourly's looking strong. We got a breakout, which is called a local breakout. It's what I call it on the hourly. And I'm paying attention to that five minute this thing is back on the pump in fact so is Bitcoin 28,420 get it baby get it okay uh, Gala okay this is uh, this is uh, another one I'm watching this is a good money maker actually so Gala on the five minute it's it's you know it's in the either short or waiting period okay but it's in an uptrend so you shouldn't be shorting it because you're in a you're in a uptrend on the longer time frames I hope all this is making sense i'm not too confusing i just i'm the way i think is i'm just spitting it as i think it hopefully you keep up uh, if you're new this is probably hella confusing if you've been in my group and you you know you're following me for a long time or you've been trading in markets for a long time it's making perfect sense i'm sure so um on the hourly looking strong as well on gala and look we're right we're passing the 200 now what I like about Gallo, there's a few things I like about Gallo. Number one, we're possibly working with them on our company, so that's cool. Number two, it's going above the 200. Number three, look at this. All the way back to 22 cents, and you're at, you know, almost five cents, we'll call it, okay? So, you know, four X, a little more. Gala's got momentum, you can make money on it, okay? I made money on it back in the day before we were um, in a bear run. I don't think this chart, because this is probably like a Coinbase chart or something, or maybe this is the Weeble chart, I don't know, but Gala goes back further, I believe. Because um, I remember me and my buddy Alfonso and, and uh, this guy I know, Boku, we were, we were trading this, and Lola, my friend Lola, we were trading Gala a long time ago. Um, that was in 2021, I think we were hitting that. So here's Bitcoin, big daddy Bitcoin. So let's look at the five minute. Okay, now it's this is this has been crazy and I've been in this the whole freaking way. So doing the five minute, all this sideways choppy, it's been hectic. This is through the middle of the night too. I mean, this was uh, be below the 200. This was coming into right in the zone was like two o'clock in the morning or something. And I was up watching it and I had been like trading it a whole freaking day, just like trying to be patient um and it took off um and it took off on the news of ubs uh buying credit suisse so this is gonna be a crazy week we have jpow coming out i really think you know when banks are falling and energy's gonna fall too i really think you know a quarter point just sounds reasonable it's kind of you're not cutting to zero freaking everybody out saying there's a systemic problem 
you're not continuing to tighten so hard that more things are breaking. And, you know, relatively, I think you're still on top of inflation with a quarter percent. And I think markets would like that. And I think it, it could be OK. Um, that's probably what I would do. It is an incredibly hard situation. I try to put myself in j Powell's situation of how I would steer the economy at this point. And, oh. I gotta say, man, I, I feel for for them and all their whole team. Like this is a very difficult situation. We are literally at the brink. We're dancing on a razor blade. Like anything can fall out at any minute. So stops are important. I'm trading it, and I'm not so big on the news. I'm more on these crosses and and my stops. Okay, whether I stop the six or stop the nine. Um, and I compound it. I showed you the compound. Go look at the one with the ape, number one Bitcoin compound trading strategy. Look, you bought here, you sold here. You bought here, you sold here. You bought here, you're still in. That's compounding. You're gonna do that for years. It shows you how you go from five Bitcoin to 75 Bitcoin, from like 53 grand to 1.7 million, doing the strategy the way I'm showing you, okay? Engine, another one I don't have, and I'm quite interested in it just because, you know, the momentum. So look, it's trying to cross on the five minute. Hourly is looking pretty good. Looks good. And the daily, it's it's a it's got the cloud, the price action's moving up under the 200, but action. Okay. Mana. Um, I had sold mana myself, but the other day when it was in the 50 cent range, I almost thought about buying it back. Um not because I love Mana. Um, I know that it, it's you know got on the Apple iPhone uh, platform ecosystem, whatever. Uh, but I do know they don't have a lot of users in their metaverse playing their game too. But when there's momentum, there's momentum, and I'm a momentum hunter and pivot to pivot swing trader, so non-biased directionally, long and short. Right now, my bias is long, but I will hedge the oscillations to slow the bleeding or just tighten, lock down my equity curve. Okay. Um, comp is another one I'm interested in. This thing is, uh, I think this one's looking to run. Uh, looks good on the hourly, daily. You could still get in at a nice fair price. I mean, I don't think I have the accurate charting on Weeble because I think Weeble got crypto later and I think it's using their own whatever they're tied to. But if you go on Trading View, you can see, you know, more of the chart. But this one says 9846 which is you know over a double so about a double sorry um now drip drip is one that i own drip is a bet that oil is going to come down just like banks are you know possibly going to come down and you would buy b and kd or faz just like real estate if it goes down you want to bet on that with drv well drip is a bet that oil and energy are going to come down so that sector went parabolic and now it's coming down and so drip is going up and there's a lot of money to be made on drip so the cross was here at 1381 and you're still in almost 18 bucks okay adam is one i particularly like and do own i this is this is like you know in my kind of my hodl but i i also am compounding it to be honest and just like i'm compounding everything uh, i'm just fearless i'm fearless i'm not i don't care about the taxes i'm not i don't care i just pay the taxes I feel like I'm a really good trader and taxes are, you know, they're just gonna get paid. I'm gonna be, do my part. I'm gonna pay big chunks to the government and that's just what I'm gonna do. But I'm also gonna protect my money because there's a lot of down days and there's just a lot of down months. And even though the indexes look like they go up the whole time, up and to the right, there's actually only a 24% net gain. So just looking at something on the daily, all these down days is time. Time is the variable. All this time, okay? You don't get to start the clock until it beats all time new high. So all this time of two years gets erased. That's why it's only a 24% net gain. People don't understand that. That's why if you skip the down, you have a strategy to stop, you buy the momentum on the crosses, then you're using time in your favor because you have your cash, you have your gains, and you can find the momentum somewhere else so that you don't have to sit out. Because usually a lot of things will cross positive at the same time, and a lot of things will cross bearish at the same time or negative because they follow the indexes. And that's why I always say follow your indexes. There's five of them, the Russell, the NASDAQ, the Dow. Russell, NASDAQ, Dow is three. 
the spy is for and the and bitcoin i i call bitcoin an index i i truly believe that will be adopted if it's not already that bitcoin is the DAO of crypto it just is um and the altar under it and the, the indexes think of as umbrellas and the stocks or instruments that are under the umbrella um they're they're gonna move with that index so when bitcoin moves you're gonna notice some alts are gonna move sure there are some differences in behaviors and personalities and some will take off more than others on certain days um which is great uh that you're starting to see that in crypto but um that's just uh leaders and breakouts and first stage bases and all that fun stuff so yeah um adam's one i like a lot i actually really like this particular crypto a lot uh loop ring God, this thing I, I really just keep looking at it um i've been thinking about doing like a big leverage trade i've been thinking about like putting a bunch of money in my leverage account which is mexi and then finding the perfect trade and doing something like a 20x with like 20 grand okay and so like what is that 400k so like if you bought 400k worth of algo at 22 cents you're gonna have a lot of algorand right and if you play the ranges and you do what i'm showing you with the five minute one hour and one day and you play those ranges 20x you know on 400k worth of algo um monster I mean, it's a money maker you know you make a lot of money really quick i mean i would just take that money and i would just you know put it into the business bank account for for the guys to do what they need um you know to keep keep our business like rolling you know and so that's kind of i've been thinking a lot about that and kind of hunting like the perfect trade and i've been wrapping my head around some like I've been doing a lot of math, let's just say, getting prepared because I'm thinking about doing a mat, like a big, big leverage trade on and, and hitting it perfect. And I'll probably just, you know, I'll hit it perfect and it'll just be the kind of thing where I just, you know, if I can't go to bed for a day or two or three, or sometimes when that does happen, what I do is I actually, if I'm up for two days, which is very hard for me because I like to sleep, um, or get some sleep at least uh what i'll do is i'll if i'm exhausted i'm like passing out I'll, I'll set my alarm on my iphone and for like 45 minutes up the road i'll pass out it'll go off i'll check it see where i'm at obviously i will not take a nap without the stop in there and to take profit and uh because you just never know look i woke up this morning was up waiting all day yesterday all night last night nothing really happened in crypto and then boom before i wake up this morning ubs is buying Credit Suisse and boom, we're above 28,000 on Bitcoin. Still at 28,421 on my chart over there. So Chainlink, you guys know I really like this. So if you're looking for Chainlink, I still think the price is very attractive. This thing was up by 30 something. Um, and uh, you know, you're, you're waiting uh, for the price action to get through the cross for safety. On the hourly, you're good. And on the daily, you're good. Okay, now this thing's been going sideways a lot, but I think when, when Chainlink decides to take off, it's gonna take off. Yeah, I got the 35. I think that's about right on all the charts too. So, um, Algorand. This is one I have a lot of. I, I This is one I'm very overweight in, Algorand. I have a lot of Algorand, okay? So, every penny is like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So. Let's uh, all pray that my Algorand trade is good. Uh, but right now it is. Right now it is. And Algorand got hit really hard with the Algo wallet. So I dumped a bunch more money in there. Um, I, have, I have a good amount of money in Algorand. I, I like, there's certain cryptos I like. Uh, Adam's one of them. Ethereum, obviously. Uh, Bitcoin. A Avalanche, I like. Aave, I like. Um, I have a lot of sushi because it's like a 20x to the top um and link is one i like matic if i didn't say that i love matic um i have a lot of ape um i have a lot of chilies too those are just doing whatever they're doing but algo is one that you know even if i do the compound thing and it crosses i might only sell half because then it'll bring my position size down to like normal right now i'm like i'm like tripled up on algorand like i have a lot of that stuff so 
Stellar Lumens is interesting the way it trades. I watched this whole massive pump. Um, I watched this pump, I guess it was to here, from here to here, which got me kind of excited. And now it's about to break that out. And then if it goes to here, it's another big breakout with three established areas. So Stellar is looking good under the 200, but um, I mean, look, that says 71 cents. I mean, that's almost like a 9X. I mean, I'm looking for nine, 10, 20 Xs. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for good entries on things that are 10 to 20 X. And I'm looking to get my money in there. And then I'm looking to have a subset on things that are four, five X, 400, 500% from here. Okay. And then I have other ones that can be fast movers, fast trades. Um, Litecoin never even considered buying it, but just saw it was at 103 recently and it's at 85. I actually was thinking about buying it down in here. Like it was like 73 bucks. It went as low as 70. I was actually just thinking about getting it for a trade, you know, and I didn't buy it, but I still might. If I did, I need to do it ASAP because, you know, it's a $17 swing. So if I go and I buy even 200 shares, it's $3,400. Well, $3,400 is income. I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's a trade. You know, there's a range. You're in an uptrend. I've checked my time, my systems. It recently got there. We're in momentum right now. And this thing is running. Obviously it's going to get back to 102. If I buy 200 shares for 16, 17 grand I, I, and make 3,400, that's a pretty good percentage on my money on a range trade. That's how I'm thinking. That's how I'm looking. Matic. I have all these memorized. This thing was at 152. Do I think it's going back to 152? Hell yeah. In fact, do I think it's going to 296 like it was before? Yeah. In fact, I think it's going to probably five bucks or more in this next cycle by the time we get to the halving. So Matic is one I'm also quite overweight in. I, there's there's a few that I'm really overweight in. Matic won't make me as much as some of the other ones. Um, I have a list. I have a spreadsheet. There's some that are like, whoa, I can't sell that one. Oh, now this is one I'm like really wanting to buy, Maker. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because look at this right here. This this blue line was 682 and it's perfectly bouncing off of this. Now, okay, it's what? Seven grand for 10 shares? Okay, so... I like the way this trades. This one moves like Bitcoin kind of. It's got big swings. It moves in like hundreds, $100 bills, you know? I like that kind of thing. So just right back up here was 946 and you can get it at 703. So we're talking about $243. So let's say I put, I don't know, um, would we say seven? So let's say 28 grand, so 400. 400 of these or 40 of these sorry 40 of these and it goes up 200 it'd be easier if i could just tell you 40 and 250 okay so what is that that's a good trade i know that and it's something i can monitor without so much risk so 40 tokens times 250 bucks is 10 grand it's a ten thousand dollar trade it's ten thousand dollar trade 3400 on that six grand on this maybe a big leverage one to hit 150 grand I got all my other ones that are crushing and then I throw in a little 10k here boom 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 dabble do you like I knew you threw your body in the sewer once the cross happens okay and then we just recompound we don't get married to maker we don't get married to none of it we don't we don't get emotional that's why I win so much is because I enter right I take my gains and then I compound I just compound 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 that's why I'm up over 40 percent beating the Dow this year yeah crazy uh so maddox is one i like um let, let's let's walk through a couple of the oh uniswap is one i own too okay uniswap beating the 200 right now just breaking above you're in the cloud let's look at our five minute mm, shaky but okay on the hourly and okay on the daily just moving kind of slow it looks like now some really good stocks I told you I'd show you Home Depot. Look at Home Depot is about to cross, okay? It's about to cross. Once these two cross on the daily, you can go all the way from, let's say it's 290, it's at 288 now, and it crossed at 290 to 337. You're talking about a $47 gain. You buy 100 shares, that's 4,700 bucks. 
that is about a 10 you know over a 10 percent gain from here to here so you know that's how i'm looking at it that's how i'm thinking about it in and out enter right exit right capture and kill get it done that's how you do it okay now therapeutics i was talking about some of this stuff look at these look at these bull runs some of these crazy ones that's energy let me find you let me find you something um the arcs are looking good shopify is just getting across but under a 200 um Let's see here. DocuSign is still rolling up. It's um, it's about to cross, I'm hoping. Apple's looking good, but look at this. It, this was a big breakout area. Big shoulder, head, shoulder, and trying to break out and getting rejected. Doesn't mean it's not going to break out, but you got to keep an eye on it. AstraZeneca, Johnson Johnson, all these are just kind of bouncing off the 200 and making a cloud. So the value of... Uh, Ugly girl at the dance sector, which was healthcare, uh, wasn't you know looking good until recently, and now the energy is going down. I like to find you Johnson Johnson because it looks like this, and it, it fell like this, and then you could buy it right now, right here, and it could do one of these, and it'd be a pretty big gain. Here's Pfizer. Okay, Pfizer is a, looks just like Johnson Johnson. See how nasty the drop was? That's value. The value buyers will come in. They'll stabilize the market. Then the traders will expand and contract the volume. That's what gives the oscillations, okay? As well as the behavioral uh, FOMO, emotion, and the oscillations due to like news data and stuff. But look at Pfizer was at $54 and it went as low as 39. It's about to cross. Could cross as early as Monday at 40 bucks. 40 to 53 is 1300. If you bought a thousand shares for 40 grand, and you're making $13 times a thousand. That's the $13,000 trade. Put that one in, put that little feather in your cap too, because you're gonna have to stack those chips, okay? Gotta get it all. So we're hunting, we're hunting. Okay, Datadog, look, it's low, okay? So you wanna, I'm waiting on that cross, but it's below the 200. There's some that are just screaming above the 200. Those are going to be safer, but there's some that you can get that I remember were big movers and they just haven't hit yet. Marvel is another one I'm watching, um, but I'm, I, I want Crown Castle more than this and I bought Crown Castle already. So, oh, here's Johnson & Johnson just to show you. So see this nasty dive? While crypto and, and all these other ones are going up, this has been out of favor while energy was in favor. Well, now that energy's coming down, healthcare is going to start going up. And that is the value. That's the Warren Buffett way. Okay, you're going to buy low, but smart. And the reason I put these two lines in is because this 150.85 was a major pivot low, and this was a major pivot low and it did come and retest it and now if the price action decides to go up and you break out of this level it's game on you could be going all the way back to 179 from 152 so that's 8 18 and then plus 9 so 18 plus 9 so 27 dollars so 2700 dollar gain per every hundred shares so put in fifteen thousand two hundred get twenty seven hundred if it goes back up to all-time high okay amazon's just starting to turn look amazon's just starting to turn that's good you want it when they cross on the daily even if it pulls back you know buy the pullback if you didn't buy the cross okay so look there's a whole bunch of good ones in there crocs is one i've been trading a lot i hit this one I actually got in on this one and sold it again. I'm just, I've been trading it and it's been doing very well for me. So just to show you how energy is going down, this was Chevron. Chevron was in that massive bull run, okay? Just to kind of give you an idea, to let you know I know what I'm talking about. Energy's coming down, healthcare is gonna come up. It's gonna be a new sector, watch. Okay, this was energy, okay? You guys all got the bill at your house. You knew it went high. And now look at energy Chevron going down. Well, that's what energy starting to look like. That's why I bought drip. Drip is an inverse leverage bear betting that oil and energy are going to go down. And that one has been going up. Another one I like right now, guys, is Salesforce. 
Salesforce had a good earnings, bounced off the 200. I like the technicals on it. And we got a little breakout here and we are in the clouds. So Salesforce looks really good. Um, look, let's just kind of leave it there. Uh, I'm just, you know, gonna, you know, I wanna make a video for you guys, especially the ones in my Discord and that have been with me for a long time. I've had a lot of personal stuff going on. My, my dog of 13 years, Capone, died in front of me and my daughter and my cat. And it was a very weird situation because he was fine started breathing weird, I was petting him, my daughter was there, and within 30 minutes he died. So I went through that. The next day, my other dog started breathing weird, and my girlfriend and I were kind of paranoid from Capone dying, and we took her to the hospital at the middle of the night, my girl did, and uh, got an ultrasound, and she has a tumor, and it might be cancer. So we, we got x-rays and some other, I think, blood work done she did, and uh, we're doing a surgery today, Monday, having the tumor taken out of her stomach. So I've been getting hit left and right with that. And then my sister also is in surgery. And then my mind has been wrapped around this new business. I've been thinking 50 chess moves ahead in every single direction and um, taking a lot of notes on things and uh, getting ready for world domination, basically. So look, um, I will do YouTubes as I can, but um, I just want to show you, you know, things are data dependent, but you can just work a system. You can buy these crosses and you can set your stops and you can manage your trade, okay? And you can compound your money and you can do wild things coming out of a bear market, buying correctly, compounding accordingly, and running it for the next few years, compounding your money. And you can get into one of those 10, 20, 30 X situations if you do it right. Now me, I am in front of the screens constantly. I live, I, I trade in the shower. I trade in the shower. <laughs> I mean, I never stop. So you just, you know, you gotta probably be one of those guys, but there's deals out there. Look at Hut Mining. I mean, Hut Mining's just getting that cross and Bitcoin's rallying and it's only $1.80. And this thing did get one time up to 15, 16 bucks. Talking about, let's just call that two. Two into 16 is eight, that's an eight X. If it goes back to the top, it's actually a little more than an eight X. So, food for thought, okay? So look, I'm gonna let it go. My name is Chris, this is Wheelhouse Trading. Look, if you wanna leverage trade, uh, the link for Mexi is in my link, or the link is in the description, sorry. And is awesome, they have every, every crypto on there. And I like it for leverage trading. Um, they have futures, spa, it's, it's got everything. If you want a prop trade, uh, Surge Trader, uh, that's the one I'm using and I have an affiliate link, you get 10% off, you can get up to a million dollars and uh, 10X leverage, that link is in the description and Webull, you can get free stocks, free crypto, link is in the description and the Discord, free to join, link is in the description. If you do want to subscribe to courses, one-on-one -on -one coaching, our trading view algorithm, and uh, some other things. It's 99 bucks a month, or you can do the Jedi Annual, which I'll give you 50% off on, and the group is amazing. Even though I haven't been in there as much, it's because I am doing a lot of things behind the scenes personally and uh, preparing on this business, um, getting my head wrapped around a lot of legal and regulatory and, and just a lot of things that is on my mind. So I'm here, haven't gone anywhere, just, just March has been rough. But look, who loves you, baby? Thank you for watching to the end and welcome to the wheelhouse.